Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late yesterday in my region, Microsoft has announced a couple of new features coming to the Paint, Snipping Tool and Notepad apps, which are currently being tested in the Canary and Dev channels on Windows 11 in the Insider program. Now, first of all, starting with Paint, with Microsoft saying that in this update, it's introducing what they are calling two powerful enhancements. First, Microsoft says, it's introducing project files where you can now save your creation as an editable paint project file and pick up where you left off. And I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction. And once you're ready to save your artwork, Microsoft says go to the file menu and select save as project as we can see. And the file explorer will open allowing you to choose a location and save your work as a .paint file. So when you're ready to return, you simply open the file to launch it in Paint right where you left off. And I personally think that is a move in the right direction. And then the next update for the Paint app, Microsoft said it's introducing an opacity slider. So here we can see that to the left hand side which it says gives you control over the transparency of your strokes with the pencil and brush tools. So to get started, you would select either tool and use the slider here on the left side of the canvas to adjust the opacity to your desired level. And Microsoft says you could also try experimenting with both the size and the opacity sliders to create smooth blends and layered effects. So those are the two updates that are coming to the Paint app. Then next up, we have Snipping Tool. With Microsoft saying in this update, it's introducing Quick Markup, which it says is a faster way to annotate your screenshots and streamline your workflow. So to get started, Microsoft says you'd open Snipping Tool using Win Shift and S or launch the app directly. Before capturing your selection, area you'll now see a quick markup button in the top toolbar what you would do then is you'd click on this button to toggle the feature on or use the keyboard shortcut control and e after that once the button is on go ahead and select your selection region with microsoft saying you'll notice after this you'll be able to mark up and make edits to your image right in Snipping Tool selection area before finalizing your screenshot. And I have actually posted on this when it was a hidden feature. So this is now in official testing. And Microsoft says that in the quick markup toolbar, you'll find the classic pen, highlighter and eraser tools along with shapes and emojis to make quick edits to your image. Recropping the selection area can be done with the grabbers around the perimeter. So a quick markup making its way into Snipping Tool. And then the final one is for Notepad. Microsoft says Notepad now supports AI features like summarize, write and rewrite on Copilot Plus PCs with no subscription required. So if you have a subscription, you can switch between local and cloud models based on your needs if you're not signed in or don't have a subscription, you can use the local model to accomplish your tasks, Microsoft says. For now, these features support English only. And what we are looking at here is Notepad showing write prompt with the ability to use the local model on your Copilot Plus PC without a subscription. So as far as I'm aware, this is the only one rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs. And the Snipping Tool update should be rolling out to so-called normal PCs and also the Paint Editions. But obviously, when that does happen, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So a couple of features, a bunch of new features making their way into those three apps. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.